Thank you for joining me for coffee. It is dreary out there. It's looking like it thinks the sun is going to come out, and I hope it's right, but right now it is not. So I'm not sure if I'm going out or not. But I wanted to show you this. These are the pieces to my sweater, which means, of course, I did not sew it together yesterday. But I'm putting it out here on the table in the hopes <laughs> that that's sufficient get me going what do you think we'll see good morning it's Barbara thank you for joining me for coffee I'm out here with my pearly girl and a few birds and no sunshine but that's okay I'm wearing my find your feed by Andrea Mallory and it seems to be just right it's not supposed to rain today. I don't think it's supposed to rain until the weekend. So Dennis will be mowing the backyard. He did the front yard yesterday. It looks great, and it'll be fun to have both more yards mowed. But I used to do the mowing back in the olden days before I hurt my knee. <clears throat> and I enjoyed mowing, but yeah. So and that and now that I've heard it again, it's very annoying. He does it. We have a riding mower now, and uh, so it's not too onerous. But it turns out my blue flowers are not blue, and they're not the flowers I thought they were, which I never figured out what they were to tell you what the name of them was. But it's pretty sure what I'm looking at are parrot tulips. Yellow parrot tulips. So I decided on yellow for my color scheme, apparently, when I planted my bulbs in the fall and I didn't remember that so I they're gonna be lovely and I'm a little disappointed because I had blue in my mind you know I'm thinking oh you know but that's okay I'm thinking that in a few days they're gonna be perfect and maybe I'll pick one or two and put them in a vase and try to paint them I could do that that would be fun try to draw them and I still on my list I still have buy um, irises. I haven't bought my irises yet. That's the kind of thing I have on my list. Uh, and I'm not going to buy them now because I'm going to be going, gone the beginning of next week um, to my parents up and vi visit with my sister who's going to be up visiting my parents. So. so I may have missed my chance for my irises this year. But meanwhile, I'm going to have yellow parrot tulips <laughs> I'm sure they're not gonna be green uh, you could see a little bit of yellow on the outside the problem was I was looking for blue <laughs> so funny and my mother-in-law said it looks kind of like tulips I yeah they have kind of a tulipy leaf <laughs> funny how that works out I saw her yesterday I went and while Dennis was mowing I went and picked up her re brought a recycling can in and sat on her deck with her for a little while I had a little glass of wine a little chit chat with the mother-in-law or is my mother-in-law by the way I know I have some new viewers and I talk about Aura Aura is Dennis's mother who lives about 15 minutes from us not quite she's 91 living on her own and uh, you know but she couldn't get the recycling bin in. She thought she could do it, and but I was not surprised. So we, we pop over there pretty regularly, and uh, she comes for dinner once in a while. She's probably going to come for dinner tomorrow night is my guess. And, uh, yeah, Dennis should think about what he's going to cook. I have to go grocery shopping one of these days because I'm going to, um, <clears throat> my sister's coming in from Idaho for a week. And my father, my parents live in a, in a assisted living facility, a personal care home, whatever they call them now. So they have a little apartment, they have a microwave, but they don't have a stove of any kind, just a microwave. And um, you know, they get their meals at the dining room but the meals are beyond terrible terrible the food is really really bad 
and but my parents don't complain about it and they're very happy to have someone else cooking and they find something you know but I can't eat there besides I mean well they have they have a chef salad I could have I think that's the only thing I could really eat there um, even even if I weren't doing keto <laughs> I still couldn't eat there <laughs> anyway so we have plans to go out to dinner a couple of times, but my father has been laying heavy hints on me that he's really craving my mom's tortilla casserole that she used to make us back in the day. And I don't know, I think he's got a little Mexican thing going because, you know, he, 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 we, were, we were ordering out for something. He says, see if they have, um, you know, tortilla chips and salsa <laughs> you know like fresh tortilla they didn't so anyways anyway he's been having this little Mexican thing going I think so um and I, when I was talking to my Chris my sister I told her I, I want to make this tortilla salad or a casserole I think it must be in the cookbook that my mother made that mama made us now my mother years ago oh I can't even you know 35 years ago something like that uh, my mother made both my sister and I uh, recipe books and she hand wrote so we have these these three small three ring binders that she covered in the in the wallpaper from the old kitchen it's old 60s wallpaper with uh, you know oh early 70s orange and yellow you know she covered them with the wallpaper which is fun just on its own and she has beautiful handwriting and she wrote out hand wrote all of her recipes that were sort of family recipes that um, she had cooked for us all these years and my mother was an excellent cook back when she was cooking and anyway so she, my sister and I both have these these cookbooks now Dan, Dennis has taken over mine and it's stuffed with all kinds of papers or whatever but you've seen in the past, when I made party salad, you've, I've taken a picture of my, you know, my page in my cookbook that's all splotchy because, you know, I've made party salad out of that recipe for the last 35 years. So anyway, I said, I, she's like, I have no idea what, don't look at me. I don't know anything about tortilla casserole. I'm like, I'm sure. I said, I bet it's in our cookbooks. And so she, while we were on the phone, she went and looked and lo and behold, Clarine's tortilla casserole clarine was a good friend of theirs or probably still is um when we were growing up i mean really early years um they were neighbors gosh must have been when i was four <laughs> you know they were neighbors all those years ago and had kept in touch all those years and you know, so my cookbook is full of, you know, Mary Lou's lemon bars, Delphi's sugar cookies, <laughs> Clarine's tortilla casserole. She said, here it is. It's Clarine's tortilla casserole. And there it was. So anyway, I'm making Clarine's tortilla casserole and taking it to State College on, on Sunday. We're having it for dinner. It's a surprise for my dad. So I have to go shopping because, of course, this is a recipe from the 60s. A can of cream of mushroom soup, a can of, you know, those recipes back in the day. So I, and I'm making it just exactly like the recipe. I'm going to bring something for myself because I can't have that tortilla stuff and stuff like that. But I, we recently made a taco pie that will work fine for me. So I'm going to bring something separate for myself and I'm making enough that I can cut it into pieces and put it in their freezer. And when they don't want to eat or when they come back from dinner and are still hungry because the food was terrible, they can put a little piece of tortilla casserole in the microwave and have a little something to eat. <laughs> That's my plan. So I will be cooking tortilla casserole on Saturday night after our zoom our Saturday Zoom is this this um, Saturday, the 14th, at 2 p.m. Um, go to the Ravelry group. There's a link. There's <clears throat> a pinned Saturday Zoom um, thread with a link. And if you aren't on Ravelry or you cannot find it, email me at flameandfiber at mindspring.com, and I will send you the link. 
guests so you can come and zoom with us and then after the zoom I'm gonna be making tortilla casserole because <laughs> I'm going and I'm going to State College on Sunday so anyway I gotta go to the store today or tomorrow so that I have everything I need because we don't have those those things on hand and uh, so I can make tortilla casserole for my dad that's my plan and my mom she'll love to have it too and my sister because she won't want to eat Harmony's food <laughs> that's for sure so anyway that's my plan that's the only out outdoor thing that I'm going to do I'm gonna work on my sweater today putting it out on the table is my de declaration I am not I am not sitting in front of this video one more time telling you I'm gonna do it today today's the day if I don't do it today I'm not talking about it anymore you'll just see it when it's done if I if, <laughs> if I'm not wearing it tomorrow <laughs> I'm not talking about it you can just infer that I didn't do it again because yesterday I just started reading I just started reading And you know me when I start reading. And I'm reading books I've read before. It's comfort It's comfort reading. It's sort of like, you know, trying to stave off the blahs or whatever. Um, yeah. But I am going to work on my sweater today. And maybe go shopping. But I might do that tomorrow. Depends on if Dennis needs anything. Oh, I think I might have a dentist, ap dentist <laughs> appointment tomorrow get my teeth cleaned and if I do then I'll go shopping on my way home from the dentist because that'll be convenient so I might do that so me probably no shopping today maybe I'll work on my sweater who knows <laughs> it'll be a it'll be a mystery it'll, it's a little cliffhanger will she do it today I'm tired of talking about it I'll tell you the truth uh, not very bright and sunny today although when I look up the cloud is kind of thinning and blue so the Sun is probably gonna come out later with Dennis mowing the backyard today I won't be out here so much in the afternoon but um, and I can't do my sweater and it's all on the table but I need to keep going with that so I will do that but anyway yeah didn't do that much yesterday red visited with Oro did my vlog and it was a little more complicated give, putting in that video so it wasn't a lot don't get me wrong <laughs> you know me minimal minimal so there you go we got birds Well, I do really like my deck. I'm so lucky to have this space. So lucky. So I will leave you with bird calls and sleeping puppies. And I hope you have a good day. Hope you are well. Hope you're staying safe. Please. Oh, oh, the sun. <laughs> there you go. See, the, hope the sun comes out for you. Hope you are wonderfully well. And I will see you tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay sane.